Here I am in sunny Yorkshire. For those of you not familiar with Yorkshire, but you do know the TV series Game of Thrones, imagine north of the wall, only less friendly. Only joking, Yorkshire folk are very friendly people. Their hobbies are cricket and complaining about the price of everything. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about Yorkshire medicine, Curious Old Cures of Yorkshire by Dulce Lewis. I'm going to read a few here to find out uh, just why uh, you know, the uh, life expectancy was so low. Uh, this is a whooping cough. Uh, I'm going to be doing a Yorkshire accent uh, for authenticity. So I'm sorry about any cultural appropriation, but you know, uh, how good is your London accent? This is the whooping cough. Bass a child with whooping cough under a donkey's belly. That's from the Thackeray Medical Museum in Leeds. Interesting enough, that was used in the children's wards until about 1982. Uh, here's another recipe for um, uh, curing whooping cough. A field mouse skinned and made into a small pie then eaten, the warm skin found airside against the throat and kept there for nine days will cure the worst whooping cough. Catch a frog, open its mouth and then cough into it three times. Then throw the frog over your left shoulder for luck. Um, that recipe is actually uh, available uh, at Greg's in Halifax and it will just go over here to earache, cures for earache, these old Yorkshire cures. Toasted bread Put against the ear for earache. That's from Heather Peacock, Castle Bowden. Put a lump of hot potato in here. A lot of these food based, potato based, I'm surprised they haven't suggested putting a Yorkshire pudding here. Here's another one. Dad would get a heap of salt on spade or shovel and hold it over the fire to get it very hot. Then it was tipped into one of his socks, tied up and held against the ear. So that's a variation there. That's putting salt in a sock and then putting it against your ear. And then we've got time for one final one of wart. This is a very old fashioned, and we don't see that anymore. Don't really get nostalgia for wart either. Here you go. Rub the wart with a raw cooked potato and bury the potato in the garden. Again, can't stress enough, none of these remedies are appropriate for actual diseases. But I hope you've enjoyed this. And if you enjoyed the content here, please like and subscribe. We've got some more funny stuff coming right away.